it's Craig here from Fix It Fellows. Today we're in the bathroom dealing with this tap here. Uh, it's quite a common tap, uh, mixer tap, and it has a sw swivel attachment there for the shower hose. Now on this particular tap, it's been in here for a number of years, but it's starting to leak out here, which I'll show you in closer detail in a minute. Now, to change this tap would be a lot of hard work because you cannot get to the fixings because it's in the middle of the bath. The whole bath would have to come out if I wanted to replace this tap. And that's a big job, the expensive job if I was to get a plumber in. And what I'm looking to do is to fix it. So we'll get into that. So here you can see the leak I'm talking about. It's coming from this swivel section of the tap and it's coming from both the top and the bottom of this part of the tap. So here you undo the hose, gently take it off. Inside there there's a washer, don't lose that. Now we can see inside the fitting here. Now I'll just turn my salt on. You can see there's a brass barrel inside there. That's what needs to be unscrewed. So here we're taking a 14mm hex bit and we're going to insert it into the part of the tap where the hose attaches to. We want to take this part out of the tap as there's a seal there to be replaced as well. So here I'm taking a pair of long nose pliers and I'm going to insert in through the outer body of the swivel through to the brass inner barrel and I'm trying to engage with one of the two holes in that brass barrel. Once I've engaged it, I can then start to undo it. I'll only be able to turn it a certain amount away before um, the tap gets in, in the way, so you then have to rotate the outer part of the swivel back round to get to the opposite hole in the brass barrel, and back round and so forth. And then you continuously undo it in this fashion. As you can see, the gap between the swivel body and the main body of the tap is starting to get bigger as it undoes. There we go, it'll get to the point where you'll just be able to do this by hand. There we go, and away it comes. There you go, you can see one seal there at the top. And there you see the underside of the main body of the tap. Here we are, the uh, inner brass barrel pushes out. It's only held in place by the pressure of the rubber seals. There are three rubber seals here, all on the main, all on the brass barrel piece. None actually on the main body of the swivel itself. If at this point there's a, you can see there's a lot of calcium build, built up, lime scale, you can clean it off. Okay, now to remove the seal. So we're going to remove the seal off of the hose attachment part first. We take a pin and we slide it underneath. At this point you don't have to worry about damaging the seals because you're replacing them anyway. Obviously if you were just servicing and cleaning and you weren't replacing the seals then I'd encourage you to take a bit more care and obviously you don't stab the seal itself with the sharp end. So you know, you're know, you just trying to get the pin slid underneath and, and then tease the seal off. So this is doing one of the three seals on the brass barrel. Get it under there and then just try and stretch it off and over.
Okay, here I'm using a, a pair of vernier calipers. I'm going to use them to measure the new seals that we need. When using them, always remember to set them back to zero. With uh, seals, you measure, they are measured and sold by internal um, diameter and by cross-sectional width. So here I am measuring the body of the brass piece that we need new seals for. And it's best to measure the piece it's going on rather than the old seals because the old seals may have stretched. So we're measuring the internal diameter required of the seal and in this case it is showing as 17 mil. When you're buying seals you're pretty much going to get them either to the whole millimeter or to the half millimeter so it's just a case of rounding and then uh, here we're measuring the um, hose attachment section I think this is going to come in a bit smaller and yes it's coming in at um, 16 mil. Now we need to measure the cross-sectional width of the wash of the seals. Now don't squeeze them too much otherwise you're going to get a false reading. And on this one it's coming in at, what's that, that's um, well, millimetres with the rounding. And on this one that's one and a half mil. And on this one, I'd round that to one and a half mil as well. So I ordered the replacement seals. Here I ordered some from Bearing Shop UK on eBay. These are the 16 mil by one and a half mil. I think that was actually a pack of 10. Comes to the grand total of three pound 57. And uh, here I've ordered the 17 mils by one and a half and by two mil. Again, you get a few in each packet. It comes to the grand total of uh, three pound 35. So here we're just putting the new seal onto the hose attachment part, just teasing it on. Try not to stretch it excessively, you just want it to, to go on just about. There we are, that's back on. So here we're going to be putting the two 17mm by 2mm seals on the lower part of the brass assembly. So we just tease it over. Now these two seals are actually in the part of the swivel that do rotate, so they're not what you call sort of static seal. So ideally you would want to put a little bit of um, plumber's silicon seal lube on them. All the other seals in this fixture are static seals um, uh, and don't really require lubrication but these two will sort of experience some friction so a little bit of lube on them would help. Okay, now we put the final seal on. This is the 17 by one and a half mil. Goes onto the top of the brass barrel. This is the top bit that engages with the main body of the tap. Now all the seals are on. The brass barrel can be inserted into the swivel section. There we go, it just pushes back in. It'll be a bit tighter than previous because those seals are new and a little bit fatter than the old ones. So just a little bit more pressure needed to insert it back in. But there it is, it's done. Okay, so now the rebuilt swivel body part can be offered up to the underside of the tap. Remember it's the brass section that actually screws into the tap, so that's the bit you need to sort of rotate. Now I'm reaching through the hole of the outer swivel part with my thumb to engage with the brass inner bit. So get it rotated around as much as possible by hand. Now using the long nose pliers and reaching through to do the final bit of tightening up. Now it needs to be tight but don't over tighten it because you'll be in danger of absolutely squeezing the life out of the seals.
Okay, once that's done, the hose attachment section just needs to be re reinserted. So screw that in by hand as much as possible. And then using the 14 mil hex bit, just tightening out the final last piece. Now we can put the hose back on, making sure that that rubber washer's in there. There we go, it's all rebuilt. Okay, so here we are, it's all put back together. We're gonna to turn the tap on, have the water redirected to the hose, i.e. putting pressure on the seals that were previously leaking. And as you can see, it's all dry now. The new seals are doing their job. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And as ever, if you want to subscribe, and um, I'll look forward to seeing you again in my next video.